What's up guys, this is Pam with Mark Pinstead here. Welcome to part 41 Ellis McGrantrum's Mod 3. Time to do the final race of the Audi TT race, aka the Tourist Trophy. AKA I know I'm gonna win it. So yeah, let's go ahead let's go ahead let's go ahead to the let's go ahead to the final race. <laughs> Voice crap! Well, when it comes to somewhat sharp turns, not for many of them, and also considering that it has a very, very fun hairpin that I like to tamp when I was little. And what I mean by that is I used to go, I used to get stuck on the hairpin on purpose because it was fun. And like I said, I was always little when I did this. And considering that this track was right by a lot of water, I welcome you to Code Majua, aka Monica. I say Monica, but that's actually way easier to pronounce than Code Majua. So yeah. But I'm, uh, yeah, this place. As you guys know, we did the strap and the licenses. And now we're gonna do a race here for the first time in Flux Play. And of course, we will be doing this track a lot more in this let's play. So, yeah, it's out, it's not. Can you, moron, stop hitting me? Wow. It's gonna be one of those races, huh? Alright, I'll do the same thing, idiots. Freaking dirty racing morons. Yeah, that was horrible. But yeah, a fun fact about that hairpin in this trap. Even though I already discussed this just now, but I wouldn't discuss it anyway. I used to always get stuck on that hairpin on purpose and screw up the AI. It was really fun, I'm not kidding. I'm not I don't know why I enjoyed it so much, but I did. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, well that happened. So yeah, I'm expecting this race to be very, very easy. And uh, for some odd reason, the AI are actually really dumb around this trap. In general, I don't know why. It's really weird. And I just realized something. Why is there someone way behind in last place? How'd that happen? Uh. Seriously, how'd that even happen? I didn't even realize that. So, first time being with Monaco, or first time actually racing with Monaco. And there's already shit in the inside that happening, alright. What the crap, dude? There we go. But yeah, the AI in general... The AI, the AI in general in this track are really dumb around here. Not sure why. I guess they programmed the AI to be really, really... I guess they programmed the AI to be idiots in this track. Because they seem to be really slow around here, and now I'm actually kind of hit a lot of walls. But that's, but that's the AI for Monaco for you in this game. So yeah. I gotta admit, Mon I gotta admit, Potion Jor is actually one of my favorite traps in this game. Just because of how fun it is. So yeah. This trap is really not that difficult. And like I said, there's a few sharp turns. There are a couple sharp turns, not very many. And there's the very, very, very tight hairpin. And that's pretty much about it. Not very, not very hard to trap. So 
three laps I forgot. Yeah, and yeah I forgot to mention uh, this track actually pulls a little uh what am I trying to say here? On the last race they pull out a little um sneak on you. This this race is actually three laps, not two. I I completely forgot about that just now. It's like oh hey I won. I went no I didn't win yes three laps. I forgot. I noticed that once I uh, was about to fall apart, this would be a three lap race. And of course, once I do the after race, I already forgot. GG, man, GG. Yeah, something, yeah, something about the last race and every championship in this game. They tend to make the last race in every championship a lot more laps than the other ones, and I don't know why. It's actually really random. Yeah, that's how the game developers made it out to me, so yeah. Hey, okay, even for the last race in some of the series, we still do that. Well, in future series. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's turn. Now I'm gonna win. So, um, yeah. So, so every time we're in Monaco, expect me to beat it in one attempt because the AI are really, really, really slow around this track for some reason. In this, because the AI in Monaco in this game are really slow for some reason. So, yeah. There you are, I won by 30 points over the white Audi. Actually, over the white Audi and the red Audi, because they tied for second. Well, then. Um, but, but the point is, is that I won the championship, and that's all that matters. So now, since so it's the final race of the championship, we get a trophy, which will give us a lot more credits, although not. Basically, double the amount of cards we have from the races. And now, let's see what price card I win. I'm gonna guess they're probably all Audi or Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna guess they're all Audis. Yeah, they were all Audi. Yeah. The price card that you get for this championship is basically just the Audi TT. Because every price card you see in this championship after winning is basically all Audi TTs. And yeah, I was about to say Audi R8, but no, there is no Audi R8 in this game. There is a Grand Transfer 5 and 6, but not a Grand Transfer 3. I don't know why I said Audi R8, but whatever. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, the only prize car you base, even though there's four prize cars you could potentially win in this championship, or, the, look, or well, let me say something about the championships in this game. You get, you get one out of four prize cars in every championship in this game. You win one out of the four of them, which means you basically just win one. You don't win all four of them, you just win one out of the four. And, um, yeah. Just like the, um, endurance races. You just earn one prize card, even though there's four of them. You just earn one. And, yeah, like I was saying, the only prize car... No, there's four prize cards in this championship in particular. However, they're per they are pretty much all Audi TTs, so don't be expecting any new cars 
in this championship because they're all out in TNT saying he went for this championship. So yeah. I don't know why I kind of mixed up my words there, but whatever. Uh, however, I think they were all special colors. That might be why. So yeah. Anyways, I explained that enough, so yeah. But yeah, there are some championships and there are some championships in this game that pretty much just give you the same car that you already bought from or used from the uh, certain championship. And like I said, the only price car that you the only price car that you're basically going to win for this championship is just the Audi TT, since all four of them were basically Audi TTs. So yeah. Okay, I rambled on. Okay, I, I rambled on up. I rambled on about that enough. So yeah. So anyways, um, the game gave me a green Audi this time. Hooray! Not, not any color or, or not. They actually gave me a color that I like. That's what I meant to say. So this is an olive green pearl effect. This is just green metallic. And if I bought an Audi CT, you would have saw that there was no green metallic. So yeah, they're all special color. They were all special colored Audis. So yeah. So hooray! So if you guys want to see me, the like and also comment down in the comment section below how to find this video. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the next championship of your lane. Next time on Lost for Grand Turns 3. So, this is my fan with the Marfine, as usual, and I'll see you guys later.